Right, we have a quote from Banquo here, who is beginning to suspect that Macbeth probably didn't fairly become King of Scotland and probably had something to do with King Duncan's murder. Surprise, surprise. So he says, Thou hast it now, King Cawdor glams all, as the weird women promised, and I fear thou playedst most foully for it. So, firstly, let's have a little look at this. Um, weird, weird here, it means fate. And he's saying the witches know the future that has been set out for us and are able to predict it. So Banquo is now starting to put two and two together because what the witches did was promise that he would become king, didn't he? He was all Thane of Glams. He read, became Thane of Cordor very quickly. He then became king. So Banquo repeats the prophecies of the witches here and notes that Macbeth has become them all. But that word there, foully, is the one that we need to zoom in on. The word choice mirrors the use of foul by the witches in the opening scene. Remember that? Fair is foul and foul is fair. Well, the witches use that word and Banquo is expecting that Macbeth played most foully to become king of Scotland. So what's Banquo doing here? Banquo now knows that Macbeth has achieved his ambition through his murderous, treacherous methods. A little bit in the context box about fate there, zooming in on that word weird for weird women. Um, and there's also obviously some link quotations there about the prophecies to do with Macbeth. 